My name is John Mount, and for today's Data Science Chalk Talk, we're going to address the huge question, what is statistics? Now, obviously, statistics is a very broad and important field. It's one of the foundations of data science, some of the other foundations being information technology, databases, computer science, machine learning, deep learning, and things like that. However, for statistics, I luckily have a copy of the Cambridge Dictionary of Statistics, and it itself succinctly defines a statistic as basically a numeric characterization of a sample. For example, the sample mean or sample variance. So a statistic is a summary, most often a number, summarizing a sample. Let's set that into context. So the reason we tend to care, or our clients tend to care, is they often have a marketing problem, that they have a population that they can interact with, and it costs money for them to interact with this population. And some of the population are blanks. They essentially are entities that will not click on the ad or will not respond to the letter or call. So basically a lot of, in fact the majority, of the prospects are blanks. And some fraction of the prospects are filled in, are black. So these are the ones that are valuable. Okay, so we always have in statistics a notion of a population. Now, populations are almost always defined to be unobservable. Now, this population is made up of a small number of black or payoff disks and a large number of white or no payoff disks. And what we want to know to run our business is what is the relative proportion of black to white disks in this population? And if that is very high, we can afford to pay for more of this population and interact with it. And if it's very low, then we need to move away from this population and not interact with it. Now, our population itself can be subdivided. Again, remember, population is unobservable. In particular, this population is going to be subdivided into two subpopulations. The past year. and the next year. So we have the past year and the future year. Now the past year is in fact observable if we take enough care in our business setting. And this is why we are teaching data science to just about every engineer we can find, even if they're not going to work as a machine learning engineer. If they can add instrumentation that makes the past actually observable, then that's a big deal. Now what we hope is that the future is not too different than the past. Now if it is, like there's an outbreak, we then make some co um, corrections. Of course those are risky things to do. But we're hoping they're not too different, that they are poured out from the same unobservable population. However, that they're very similar in structure or the mathematical term would be exchangeable. So what we can now do is take a sample from our population. Now obviously we can only sample from the past year. We cannot sample from the future. And now we have our statistical question. Is this sample, which is now observable, where we can measure the rate of black to white disks, the rate of things that work to things that do not work in this observable sample, the statistical question is how representative is this observable sample of the population it was drawn from, which is the past year. And then we're hoping, as a matter of science, that we've ensured that these two years look very similar, i.e. we can model them from having come from the same generic population. Which means we can say if we correctly measured this rate and it was correctly representative of what happened in the past year by mathematics, then maybe that will also mean it's indicative of the general population that combined those two years. And the reason we care is maybe that is a good estimate of the future. And to my mind, that is statistics in a nutshell. It is basically the inference of unobservables from populations from the observables are samples. Now, there's two, at least two places we can go wrong. Is One is these two years may not be similar. We may have misdesigned our experiment such that there's really no relation between these two years. And the second one is, which is much simpler to deal with, is our sample size may have just been too small. 
for instance, the absolute worst sample we can draw is a single disk, because any single disk sample is either going to be all black or all white, which is completely unrepresentative even of this population it was drawn from. So statistics implementation breaks down into two things, proper hygiene and experimental design, which is a business question, and proper modeling the relationship of how samples relate to populations, which is mere mathematics. So this idea is we want the population to represent the future quantity we're interested in. That's a business design thing they have to be very careful with. And then we want the sample to be representative of this population. So by transitivity, the sample has good predictive information about this future business year, which tells us whether to buy more or less in this category. And uh, to my mind, that's statistics. If you can internalize that, you fully understand statistics. Everything else is just how is this realized. If you know the goal for every task or method, you can see is it moving towards that goal or away from that goal. And uh, thank you very much for your time. Statistics is a topic that we're pretty excited about here at WinVector. My name is John Mount, and I really appreciate the time we've just shared together. Thank you.